Hi, so I just got this new Sephora foundation mist because I don't like creamy, goopy foundations, cover-ups, anything. And I'm going to show you my step-by-step -step, um, how I use multiple primers and then powders. I just put Smashbox primer oil all over my face. Everybody tells me you shouldn't do this, but I do. And then I mix it in the Clinique hydrating after I've done my three step solution on top of a coconut oil set for 10 minutes wash off of water and codaline cleansing water this way you don't have to use all that stuff for your makeup to sell without your face drying out after that clean First you want to use the hydrating one, it's a really good base, it goes right on top of that cleaning stuff very well. And you can use a sponge for this, you don't have to use a brush. A really inexpensive one is Laura, you can get 24 in a bag from Walmart. And they have these other cool colored ones that work very well. Um, I recommend using the small purple cool ones for eyeshadow but I don't need the um, expensive beauty blenders anymore since I'm not using all that other stuff okay so we got one in. the second one that you want to use is that photo finish just to kind of set it all off before we hide our pores It doesn't take very long to do this too because you're doing it so many times with the same sponge you have in a new one. And you can see I'm kind of priming my eyes anyhow. So before we use the primer eyeshadow later on from Urban Decay is the best one, I would say. We're already setting them very well for long wear eyeshadow, okay. So then the last one that I use primer wise is the Smashbox for minimizing. Difficult to get out, be careful with it, it comes out like a snake and then flops everywhere and I've dropped it on the floor hundreds of times, wasted lots of makeup. Zilabi. You can see how this one goes on a little differently, right? But it's going to hide all the little pimple acne scars that I have since I was acne prone as a teenager. The lighting is definitely better in my bathroom than it is in my computer. I'm going to be getting a different new setup soon with the tripod actual camera. That's why I haven't been posting anything lately. And then sometimes a little more this. Okay. So now that that sponge can throw it away. Maybe I should keep it for this. I don't know. Am I going to need a brush? This is going to be bad. Let's try one of these. Oh shit. Very nice. I'm gonna go 
those freckles. Bye bye freckles. Okay, so you can see that this is really, really, really light and ideal for somebody. You can find it at Sephora for $35 Canadian. Um, I'll post maybe a finished look later online as well.